What makes characters good or bad in Smash Ultimate? When looking at tier lists, you'll start to notice some trends. Speed is key, not just on the ground and in the air, but also the speed in which your moves come out. Characters that take too long to swing and get stuck in the corner or on platforms tend to struggle. Decent recovery. You don't need the best recovery, but characters with awful recoveries often have that be their single biggest weakness for a reason. Reliable KOs. Anyone can deal damage reliably, but when it comes to securing kills consistently, having a setup, a grab, or a combo that works no matter what easily separates the best fighters. No downtime. Any character who has little or no lag in their best moves, their combo starters, their KO setups, or their main pokes in neutral will naturally be better than most of the cast. Range. The more distance you can create between you and your opponent with your attacks still connecting, is a situation where your opponent cannot even hit you back. Any character who has a few or all of these will be at the top of the tier list, and those who only have one or none of these will be at the bottom.